Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you with a wicked tutorial. This one's been long anticipated uh, by me at least. Uh, the new update to U25 came out today and uh, with that we didn't quite get what everybody expected with the new biomes, with all of this stuff. We pretty much only got a few blocks uh, with stained glass and some new doors and that sort of thing, stairs, pretty, not very much, but the one thing I have been looking forward to is stained glass, because stained glass is going to allow us to make rainbow colored beacons, so uh, the one thing that I can say, in anticipation of this, I went and made this before we even had stained glass, and then I went and put the stained glass in as soon as I got the update, like 10 minutes ago, and here you go guys, rainbow beacon. And there you go, looks good to me looks good to me so this is a little more complicated of a tutorial uh, I did kind of look at a mumbo jumbo tutorial uh, at which point in time actually he kind of edited his video wrong which ended up making me have to makeshift a bunch of this so shows out to mumbo jumbo as usual his channel link is always on my main channel as a uh, cool YouTube peeps and uh, we're gonna get right into this don't mind me because this is a little more complicated so I'll try to go slow and I might have to go and uh, check a little bit of the timing I have on this one uh, but let's start this bad mammer jammer now uh, I think what I'll do is I will make it right here let's just line it up that way I can uh, make sure I don't mess mess it up I'm gonna actually go right ahead and uh, put my hop bar on for you guys so that way you can see what I have going uh, user interface no nope. graphics yes and there we go uh, I think this will just make it easier especially if I'm trying to go fast let's see I don't know I'm gonna give myself a cookie if I can get this done in uh, under 15 minutes so ultimately what you're gonna need is uh, five wide and th four deep if I remember correctly and then you're gonna start by putting your beacon right here in the top notice how it's a little off centered like that but that's good five wide four deep and then what you're gonna do is just start this bad boy off right to the side of the beacon as you can see right here uh, we're just going to go ahead and put our little ladder of sticky pistons so we're gonna put this here and then we're gonna put a sticky piston right here go ahead and place a block sticky piston place a block and then one more sticky piston once you've done that just get rid of these guys in between not needed anymore and then on this side we're going to do the same type of deal except we're going to start with two solid blocks up and then a sticky piston offsetting everything we're going to want the sticky fist and face in this way and then just scatter up one block sticky piston one block sticky piston three sticky pistons in total get rid of these and there you go. This is kind of the startup of uh, what you're going to be doing here. So once you do this, this is pretty much kind of a key moment in time. Uh, what you're going to want to do is ultimately start with a solid block here and then just place it up and get rid of it. And then you're going to be creating this shape right here. Look, block, block, half slab. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and get a repeater. Put it in the middle right here. Go ahead, put dust, dust, dust. Once you've done that, now we're just going to be taking a look at this. We're going to want to bring this up and back a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place a block here, up here, up here like this. And once you've done that, you've got your pretty much ready to go. You're going to create this ladder backwards again. Three with a half slab. And then once you do this, you're going to see somewhat of a pattern forming. You're going to be bringing redstone dust up you're gonna grab a repeater repeater very straightforward like this repeater repeater and then some dust now basically what you're gonna do guys is just go ahead and continue this pattern all the way up uh, so you could start by placing a block on top of this one right here then you're gonna go three Once you're on the inside there, go ahead and put a hat. What is that? Oh my God, there's a pigment. Where did it even come from? 
from one of these failed nether portals, nonetheless, I can only imagine, uh, and then put the half slab here. Again, what you're going to want to do with this one, guys, is just repeat the same exact pattern down here. So go ahead and grab yourself dust, dust, nope, dust, repeater. dust dust basically you're copying this one here right here so once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and just bring it back up uh, like they say basically right here bring a block up here cuts it off once that block comes here and uh, comes over there we're gonna be good to go we're gonna go block block half slab and again we're gonna duplicate this exact right here uh, simply by placing dust Repeater, repeater, dust, block, 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 half slab. Go ahead, throw some dust right here, throw a repeater right here, some dust right here. And then last but not least, we're going to just want to bring it up to this piston over here. So that's pretty straightforward block here block here block here so once we've done this let's just go ahead and uh, put our dust there 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 and then for this one right here you're going to be putting a comparator comparator right in so most of our power ladder up has been created here uh, the only thing you're going to want to do is continue this pattern down and power these pistons and that could be done very easily by simply putting block here block here block here block here uh, placing dust on the corners just like on the top one there there and then simply putting a comparator there and there now that you've done that we can see that we have most of the challenge uh, kind of ladder ish part so they're all kind of powered ready to go um, let's just go over here and take no don't do that so once that's done, you can see that most of the exciting fun part has kind of uh, been created. Uh, a lot of the hard work is done. So let's just go and uh, let's start with the backside bottom. So over here, what we're going to do is go ahead and grab a dropper and put it here facing this way. And then uh, what we're going to grab here is a hopper. And uh, we don't need any more half slabs. So go ahead, crouch place it into the dropper what you're going to do is put one item in the dropper uh, let's just go put a pair of boots doesn't matter any item you want in that dropper as easy as that uh, and then we're going to start building around here uh, personally what we're going to do is grab comparator out of this one here this is basically just a clock to time the pistons so once you put that comparator there what we're going to do is go ahead and put repeater repeater block repeater repeater block and then we're gonna see how this one goes up here so let's just go ahead and throw a dust right there so once we've done that that little clock powers up goes up here and then let's start from over here uh, let's go ahead and place a block here and then let's put a repeater here once that repeater is in here we're gonna be feeling good about it that repeater is ready to go uh, let's go ahead and place a few more repeaters here I'm just gonna check the timing on this one repeater repeater dust repeater so there's one of these that's at two. I'm just going to check this out now. Repeater, repeater. That's good. Check the timing here. This one here. So make sure we put this repeater here under this piston at two ticks delay. Uh, now what we're going to do here is actually start building up. Let's go ahead and uh, build this up. What we're going to want is a piston coming down right here. So I'm just going to put this here for now. Let's get out of here. Let's go over here and let's throw a sticky piston here let's go ahead and put a block here and get rid of this block once that's done we're already almost there guys all you got to do is just verify some of the things here so how we're going to do that is by placing a repeater right here we're going to put dust right there and then let's just go ahead and place a solid block right here and 
What we're gonna do is try to reach from the other side, but we're just gonna put two quick repeaters right in here and in here. Now you're cooking with gas. So we'll check the timing. Both those repeaters we just placed, guys, put it on two ticks delay. Uh, let's go over here and just give them each a tick, tick, tick. So now we're looking good. We just gotta finish up this clock in the front. It's actually not very hard at all. All we're gonna do is this piston is down. What we're gonna do is go two over here, get rid of this block and throw a torch right here. And then we're just gonna have to add one more little thing. Let's grab a sticky piston, throw it right here aiming down, grab a redstone block. Throw this redstone block right here. When that redstone block comes down, it's going to power it. And then what we have to do is one more little thing. We just have to make the center area here. So how you're gonna do that is actually pretty straightforward. Grab yourself a dropper, put the dropper here, then grab yourself a hopper, crouch place the hopper into there. Again, you're gonna wanna put one item in here. So it doesn't matter what it is. One item in there could be that enchanted book doesn't matter what it is guys at all um, once you've done that let's simply finish this pattern by simply putting a block here we're gonna have to crouch place that bad boy block here i'm gonna drop a comparator on that one as well bang so as of now guys looks to me like we more or less are done here um, i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this lever on here and then we'll make sure that the mechanics of this thing work good we are only at five minutes, <laughs> bingo, oh wait, no, it's longer, it's like 10 minutes, but either way, let's check it out. Oh, look, see, look, see, looks good to me, so now let's just turn it off, grab your selection of fancy new stained glass blocks, let's do uh, red, yellow, green, uh, pink, purple, and blue and then just go ahead and uh, place them in there we'll put a blue here pink here or purple there pink there uh, green yellow red and there you go guys you guys got a rainbow beacon easy as that looking good I wonder how many it would take to lag out your whole entire world probably too many let's see let's turn this one on too and we got rainbow beacons ready to party. Uh, on that note, guys, don't forget, I'm super excited to you 25s here. If you are too, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. You know, probably one of the first console tutorials on this one. I can only imagine that FedEx Gaming is working on one of these right now. Uh, because uh, that's how he rolls, I'm sure. But now that you know how to do it, there you go. Don't forget to share this on your social media. Smash that like. Subscribe to my channel uh, for some more cool TU25 tutorials that will be coming out all day long. And uh, on that note, catch you on the next video.